And it helps if I have the microphone on, too. We'll look back at all of these VODs and laugh one day. Anyway, today we're going to um, continue with the Symphony of the Night stream. And uh, I just... I, I'm not looking forward to the next part. Because we have to farm this particular item from the Reverse Long Library. And it's not very fun. Nope. So... Let's go. Come on, game capture. Oh, right, that's right. I had to do uh, that thing and then. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, close and then. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Maybe? Oh, it would help if I... There we go. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I will eventually figure out this live streaming thing. In the meantime, we're going to have fun laughing at how silly I am. Honestly. All right. Off we go. Yeah, it's honestly, if it wasn't for the particular game and my brother, I wouldn't do this because you, it's totally not necessary to beat the game, but it's just something we always did. And ever since it started, I have to do it every time. Hi, welcome to the stream. Uh, here we go. See, that little white bastard is a schmoo. And that schmoo drops the one thing I need. And once we can get that little, little, little bastard to drop it, we're good. So, the first thing we gotta do... We... The, um, put that. Then we need the fake Alucard set. The fake Alucard set. Uh, uh, hello. Oh, ah! That's a cute emote. I like that. Um, since you're just dropping in, um, and I don't know if you were on the stream yesterday, we're about to start farming an item. And uh, that item takes for freaking ever. Alright, so by equipping all that... Now, you see how our luck stat went plus 35? Yeah. That's what's up right there. Status Alucard. <laughs> and it changes our name to Alucard. Like, you're... You are you are Kmart Alucard now. You you ain't you ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. Um, and then I want to go ahead and pop a luck potion. And what that'll do? Where did it go? Where did it go? I know, thrilling. 
thrilling gameplay. I'm dropping all sorts of things. I'm all flustered today, sorry. Alright, we're good. Now, luckily, we still do enough damage that we can one-hit a shmoo. But basically, now, we're just going to be running back and forth, killing this one shmoo until they drop what we want. So anyway, I suppose we can talk while I'm doing this. Um, essentially, after we get this last item, we're going to end up rushing through the rest of the game. And then we'll be done. And once we're done, we can actually start moving on to another game. Which, I'm on the fence about what to play next. Um, I've had a few really good suggestions... And I've had a few really bad ones. Um, but overall, I think I would like to stick with the retro... The retro games. Um, because that's what I like. That's me. I feel like if I try to fit in or do anything else, I'm not being myself. I'm betraying my, my identity. Would you just drop the stupid thing? Uh, beam, boom, boom. To be fair, I put in the title that we're farming, so if you expected anything else this stream, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um... I mean, I think a longer game would be good. Something like an RPG. I think that could be fun. Maybe get some audience art participation. Get some of that audience participation. You know, name some characters. Have some fun with that. Boy, this is not fun. But I know if I leave, it's dropping something. Baldur's Gate. That's a D and D game, isn't it? Looks like uh, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I might. That could be fun. I don't think I've ever played it, so that makes it even better. Just had the thing, there it is, okay. I promise you, once it drops, the stupid thing will leave, and it's going to be worth it, because then the rest of the game is nothing. I, I remember there was Baldur's Gate, there was Icewind Dale. Um, Icewind Dale was the other one, I think. And then wasn't there a a D and D game that came out recently that was based off of Forgotten Realms or something? But it wasn't as good. I heard it wasn't as good. Well, I don't have them all in my Steam library. Would you drop this thing? I 
I gotta try to kill something else just to make it interesting. Here, let's go ahead and explore a bit. We've got the... We've got the good gear on for item find. The nice part is, is even though you're super weak with the Alucard set, your luck is up, which means your crit's up. So you do a lot more critical hits. Ah, my face! Yeah, there's no upside down library guy. <laughs> Unfortunately, as funny as that would be. Sorry. My nose is itching really bad. It's it's bad allergy season or someone's talking about me. It's one or the other. It's probably both. I forget what's in the reverse section of this this area. The Tin Man will mess you up. Tin Man does not play. What the heck is that? Battle Air? Are you the Fresh Prince of Battle Air? Oh yeah, Dark Alliance. I remember Dark Alliance. But, um, do you remember? It wasn't D and D, but I think it was in the EverQuest universe. Do you remember? Um, never, not Neverwinter Nights. That was D and D. Um, <sighs> Champions of Norath. It was like on PlayStation Two. It took place in the EverQuest universe, I think. What's up, Lav? Welcome. That was another one of those games where, like, we didn't have good internet, so... We just played the living hell out of it. The store light is the worst item in the game. It's up there with them. Um, the store light is a ring, and it increases the power of the cross. So the cross, when you're Alucard, is only the item crash version of the cross that Richter gets to use. So it takes 100 hearts each. So you have to figure that you're wasting 100 hearts and have to take up an entire um, inventory slot just to be able to utilize that one sub-weapon. It's pointless.
right, let's get back to trying to get this stupid drop. Hey, Lav, can you post the, um, yeah, you said it was from a Spanish animation too, but I was going to say, hey, can you post the, um, link again on a couple other servers? Try to get the, the oomph going. If I could hit my follower count by tonight, that would be super dope. Every time with this frickin' Tin Man. Of course it's Dutch. It's good. All, all good things are Dutch. I was really hoping it dropped it, but it just dropped stupid ramen. All of the enemies in the uh, reverse library drop super good weapons. Or items in general. Um, I cannot remember what the Scarecrow drops, but I remember that the Lion drops the Fist of Telkas, which is a really good punch weapon. And the Shmoo drops the Chrysagrim, Chrysagrim, which is what we're trying to get. Go away, whoever you are. I'm busy. My phone. Phone's popping off. All right, everybody, give me your energy. We need this sword to drop. Sing to? <laughs> no. No, it's not that one. Oh, Satan below. Why won't this thing drop? My biggest fear. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Welcome. We're killing the same enemy over and over trying to get a drop. So because we have a new follower, that means I'm going to go ahead and move elsewhere because God help them if they have to watch that. <gasps> It dropped! It dropped! The new follower came and it dropped! Are you effing kidding me right now? Oh my god! This is a family-friendly stream, but I'll DM you what I'll do for you later uh, based on that. Um, oh my, OMG. That is, oh my god. I need a, I need a shot. Anyway, we got the Chrysagram. Yay! It 
It is a sword that basically throws out four or five individual slashes. And has no cooldown. <laughs> That's what a Crusagrim is. It's insanely broken. Literally nothing can stand up to it. Now the question is, can we get the other, the other big one? Is the music off? It shouldn't be. No, the music shouldn't be off at all. Let me check. Oh, it was off. Have we been streaming silent this entire time? Oh, thank you. Welcome. We literally streamed silent for most of this. That's hilarious. I'm loving that. That's too funny. Thank you for pointing that out, Lav. See, that's why you're supposed to be here. So my dumb butt doesn't miss that stuff. If we could get a Heaven Sword as well as a Chrysagrim, oh my goodness, this would be the ultimate run. But we're not gonna. I've, n I've only had a Heaven Sword drop, like, once. Ever. In the history of me playing this game. So I'm not even going to bother. It's just a waste of time. Waste of time. Nope. You know what, come to think of it, it's probably a good thing that we were muted through the whole time where I was farming. Because that would have been insanely annoying. So wait, the first game you played wasn't Bubsy? Alright, obviously I'm not going to unequip the, the Chrysagrim, but check this out. It's pretty cool, right? Welcome to the new followers. Should get my VTuber a hot tub? No, I'm a say so VTuber. I'm wholesome. 
And now with the Chryseagrim, absolutely nothing. Nothing is, is a challenge. And we're back there. We've actually covered quite a lot of ground in the Reverse Castle. Midnight Club 2? Is that a racing game? Yeah, it was a racing game on PS2, right? I, I, I never really played many racing games, so I don't know. We can, yeah, we have the Chryseagram now, so we can definitely go fight the boss in the Reverse Alchemy Lab. Ooh, Pokemon Red and Blue, nice. My first video game was DuckTales on NES. God, the Chryseagrim is disgusting. There's a reason they made it such a rare drop. Oh, that's right. Didn't that come with both Chip and Dale games? got that. Okay, big boss, here we go. Yeah, now he's not so tough. Oh yeah, DuckTales 2, we like that was never officially released before then, was it? Or was it just a rare game? I can never remember. Just rare. Like Flintstones. Isn't there an NES Flintstones game that's like hella rare? Okay. 
I haven't played DuckTales 2 yet. I did play the re-release of DuckTales that came out, like the, uh, the remaster. Did you play that one? That would be a fun game to play on stream. Alright, we didn't go down into the underground, did we? That's, that's where we're going next. Did what? Oh, it's right, it was delisted, wasn't it? I, I hate when they do that. Like, give give people a chance to buy stuff that's cool. No, we did go to the reverse underground. We didn't go to the, um, reverse catacombs. And that's where we need to go next. Ew, no, get it away. Like I said, I wouldn't mind the cross if you could actually use it like the Belmonts could. I didn't watch... I haven't watched Dragon Ball Z since I was a kid, so I have no idea what you're talking about. Link me to it later in chat. Like, I'm not gonna pull it up here because of copyright, but... Thank you. 
Okay, just because I got it doesn't mean I'm going to use it the whole rest of the game. Because honestly, it kind of kills the challenge. And I like a little bit of fun. And it's not really fun for everyone to just watch me destroy everything like that. So we'll just go back to the sword for the next few boss fights. He does. He loves a good ramen noodle. So, who do you think's here now? Because if you remember, this is when you kept making jokes that we were in Greece. So who do you think the boss is now if it's not Cerberus? breath in my body. Then, for the master, I'll feast on your soul this night! And since we already have our little demon buddy. Whoa, hey, what's this? Some kind of switch? We much prefer shiny red buttons, but this will do. I still love him. The end demon is the best. funny is it's the exact same items in that little secret room on this castle as it was in the original one. For Newman? <laughs> Damn it, Newman! That's better than the Kramer demon. Hey, Jerry, guess what I learned? Kramer, no! So the best part is if we... Hey, Chair, check out this new word I just learned. That joke isn't really appropriate for this live stream, but it's okay. We can make fun of racists. It's not political to make fun of racists.
Car Dracula. Why do they call him that? What's he counting anyway? Beep 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 boom boom beep 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 boom beep 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 boom. Boom. There we go. So we should have almost all of Dracula's body parts. Yep, we need one more. One more of Dracula's body parts. And let me tell ya, it ain't Adam Sandler's Dracula. I, I have never watched a single episode of Criminal Minds. Isn't that the one with the dude from Dharma and Greg? Or is it Eric Stoltz? I can't remember. Yes to which, Dharma and Greg or Eric Stoltz? Oh my god, I am dumb. Oh, cool. We're here. All right, so we're in the reverse catacombs now. Okay, you remember how I was going to unequip the Chrysagrim for a bit? We're putting that crap back on. Because this, this is like, this is big, big bad area. All the enemies here are different and they're all terrible. And they will wreck you. Three viewers. Wow, cool. I've never had that many viewers at once. We had followers tonight. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This makes me happy. Like, after a long day's work, I just get to play my favorite games and hang with my friends. I personally do not like this stereotyping. I think it's nonsense. Alright, so if you remember right, we can go through the reverse um, spiky hallway too. We definitely want to equip this. I don't think you were there when we got the spike breaker yesterday, uh, the other day. I don't think you were here. Ah! Hold on, hold on. I'm adjusting things and I need vodka. It's one of those, it's one of those, um, one of those tire swings. Also, holy crap, my mod is actually in the chat. <laughs>
Tony? Like Tony Soprano? Like James Gandolfini? Rest in peace. Joe Matania. Oh, okay. Why are those blood skeletons yellow? That's not blood. Oh no! They're those kind of skeletons. Calm down there, dramatic music. Although, at least it's not Finale Takata for five seconds. We don't need the bibble. I think Agamoth or Gagamoth or Gag Your Mom or something is in here. It's a really big boss. sucks. You get the necklace of J here, which is your opening gear, but you can either A, get it as a drop from a frozen half, or you can get the Noglamir from a cave troll, which is way better. And we did. We did get the Noglamir from, from a cave troll. Alright. We want to save because no matter how strong or broken I am, this next boss is actually really dangerous. It is not the ball of people. Unfortunately. how much punishment it took even from the Chryseagrim? Like, if you try to beat that guy with a normal sword, it takes forever. I think I get the, uh, the poison mist. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. <laughs> Yes, young William, yes! Yes, a 
inside of the Jupiter 2! Oh! Hey, young William. All right, we got that. Cool, we covered the whole underground. So, unfortunately, we can either take the long way out or library card out, which will take a little longer. But I'm trying to figure out where we need to go next because we're missing one more piece of Dracula. Um, yeah, the Brap Cloud. <sighs> Who haven't we killed? Oh! I know! The mummy! We have to go fight the mummy. F it, we'll just walk back. Dude, Dr. Zachary Smith was such a creep from Lost in Space. Like, I think they didn't... They didn't play it up as much in the new one on Netflix, thank God. But the old, like, original Zack Smith from um, Lost in Space was just, like, super creepy. Yes, young William, yeah. Suck on that, Sabrina. Whoever you are calling me, I'm on stream. Leave me alone. You know that. It's 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, four nights a week. You should know that. It's on my Facebook. Also, guys, make sure you follow the link in my description on my Twitch to check out where all the VODs go. Um, cause I've got a YouTube where all of our, uh, VODs go. Cause after 14 days on Twitch, you know, the old videos go away. So, I wanted to preserve them. So they all go on that Billy Zodiac Vids and VODs channel on YouTube. Brendan Fraser is a precious gift from, from, from Satan himself and he must be protected. Um, brain fart, brain fart, brain fart. Okay, I'm un un unfart. I have unfarted. I agree, The Mummy 1 and 2 are good movies. And honestly, you know what sucks is that Uncharted didn't come out earlier, so Brendan Fraser couldn't play Nathan Drake, because I think young Brendan Fraser could have been the perfect Nathan Drake. Like, Mummy-era Brendan Fraser as, as Nathan Drake? Oh my god, yes, please, daddy. As you should. But yeah, see, we're the Brap Cloud now.
Hollywood what? Oh, yeah. What's your favorite Indiana Jones movie? I swear if any of you say Crystal Skull. I swear to God if any of you... What happens in it? Is it the one that's really racist against Indians? Oh no, okay, yeah. Last Crusade, that's my favorite. Love Last Crusade. With Sean Connery. Drink the good water. Yeah, you chose. My favorite part of that movie is that they both apparently hooked up with the uh, the, the Nazi chick. And they had that really awkward moment. That's where I wanted to go. John Reese Davies was in that movie. All right, the two bosses I can think of that I need to beat are the Corrupted Vampire Hunters trilogy. Oh, that's right. You'll like that boss. Sword of Hodor. Check this guy out. He's pretty cool for the two seconds he was on screen. Too bad I murdered the shit out of him. I got I can't swear on this character. I'm trying to be a good girl. Good boy, whatever I am today. Yeah, we're gonna break the game like that, and they're just all blowing up at once. Yeah, I, I could go beat the mummy, but I, I just remembered there's another boss that I think you'll actually appreciate more. Jurassic Park 2 Lost World? Eh, it's okay. It's not the worst one. Ooh, we're over 
over 700 health, kids. Yeah, that was a pretty cool scene now that you mention it. What are you talking about? I've been silent, not because I've been trying to be rude, but because you have confused the living behesus out of me. I have zero clue what you are talking about right now. Jurassic World? Yeah, I've never seen Jurassic World. I guess now I know how you guys feel when I'm like, you know, in 1938, when Georgie Jessel was on the David Brenner program. <laughs> Best sword ever. Hold on. Hey, what's that sword you picked up? The sword named Gram. Gram. All right, perfect. We're back full circle to the boss. All right, here's the boss you're going to like. And there they went. Alright, cool. Let's go back and beat the other boss now so we can go beat the game. Best of all, we're going to get the good ending. Pardon me, coming through, don't mind me, moving through here, excuse me, I got places to go, people to do. I'll take that. Kill the Lich King. Kill totally not Cthulhu, you guys. A stone mask? Coconut deal. Oh. Come on, Mike, they could 
ゾタロウOh, and I've got the time stop while I'm doing the Dio voice. <laughs> Let me do it. Hold on. Are you ready? The Wado! So stay Tokiwa, Monkey Das. Go back to sleep. All right. And I think we get force of echo here. I don't remember though. Tokyo Tobore! I gotta quit doing that. <laughs> eh, I may as well get the map coverage. Accidentally selected Spotify, which we don't want at all. The world! Oh, I switched it out for the holy water. Damn it. Oh well. It needed to happen. That. <laughs> Van Helsing? Like the one with you, uh, you Wolverine? You know, yeah, that probably is 
the closest we'll ever get to a Castlevania movie. There should be one more area to enter here. And then we can go warp back to the marble gallery and let's go beat this game. I'm ready to beat this game. And I'm thinking we'll get pretty close to 200%. I didn't go for a perfect run, but it's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, because missing the force of echo. Eh. It's not important. That's a pretty good completion on that map. Alright. Yeah, we'll take this way. This way's fine. Um, the one in the start is not that easy. I just know how to quick kill Dracula. I learned it from speedrunners. Um, also, this final boss fight is not going to be hard because, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I ha I am a human fucking Quiznart. Sorry, I swore. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. Swear jar, swear jar. I think that's the first F-bomb I've dropped in four streams. I'm pretty proud of myself, but also upset. It's the reason I haven't been getting drunk during streams. The host needs to go to timeout. I got in trouble. Rattle me bone. We don't actually need that save point. I love how Homeboy just came running to his death, like, oh hey, I'm helping. No, you're not. Yes! No God's Garb, though. There we go.
Okay. Now. We're about to go fight the final boss. Sorry, I have to. There we go. Now that looks good. We're at least in the 190% range. You damn right. The world in the forge of chaos. You made Belmont lord of the castle. Why? Because we tire of these hunters and their holy power. If they would but turn on one another. Then the strongest one among them would eliminate the rest. Belmont. Yes. So I converted him, brought him here to lure the rest, to force them all to fight and die. But you never planned for me, and now you failed. Ha! Your human soul as frail as his was. You'll take his place. I'll tear that soul apart. Okay, honey, you can go ahead and try. <laughs> Beloved darkness awaits you. Dwell there for all eternity. Ha! I die victorious. Count Dracula rises even now. Let him purge the world in flames! Daddy? Father. <laughs> yeah, that. met my son. It's been a long time. Not nearly long enough. I can't allow you to leave here, Father. Do you still side with humanity? Have you forgotten what they did to your mother? You think I would forget such a... No. But neither do I seek revenge against them. Enough of your nonsense. Away with your humanity. Stand with me as prince of all the world. You will never touch this world again. In mother's name, I swear it. Tremble before my true form. Resident Evil conundrum. Yes. <laughs> 
I didn't feel like using the Chrysagrim for the final fight because it just felt like cheating and like I wanted the fight to actually last a minute and be enjoyable. Go back to the abyss. Trouble the soul of my mother no more. How? How could I have lost? You lost your heart, your soul. You'll never win without them. Ah, uh, how poetic. So, I tragically sacrificed all I held dear in a search for power, did I? Did you not? <laughs> Tell me, what? What were Lisa's last words? She said, do not hate humans. If you cannot live with them, then at least do them no harm. For theirs is already a hard lot. She also said that she would love you for eternity. Lisa, forgive me. Farewell, my son. Bye bye. So you made it. Alucard, you're all right. So you had to fight your own father? It's my fault. If I hadn't been so weak, we wouldn't be here. Not so. I had my own reasons to face him. Still, it couldn't have been easy. It wasn't. But remember, the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for, for good, good men, men to, to do, do nothing. nothing. So what now, Alucard? The blood in my veins is cursed. It's best for the world if I disappear, now and forever. I see. Farewell, then. We'll not meet again. Alucard. Well, are you going after him or not? No, he's right. It's best this way. There's no way I could. Oh, I didn't get the camp. actual best Maybe ending. Someday Dang. We will meet again. Who knows? Maybe. Let's go. Everyone's waiting for us. Yes. Let's get out of here. Wait. Wait. What? What? What's this music? This isn't the ending theme to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. What is this? What? No, 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 this is not. This is not the ending credit theme. I don't know what this crap is, but this is not. I'm busting out Google right now. Bust out the googly. Symphony of the night.
Ugh, they changed it. Yeah, okay. <sighs> the original ending song is way worse than this, but it's great because it's so bad. And we're going to play it <laughs> after, after this is done. We're going to listen to the original. No, this is a fine song. This was more fitting. I'm mad because I like the bad song. Because it's nostalgic. So did you, did you Google that? Like, is, is that Dio's voice actor that plays Drac? did it though we uh we beat castlevania symphony of the night again everybody for uh oh that's awesome that that's him that's so cool i want to thank everybody that showed up for the streams these past few days and i really hope you stick around because we're going to be playing a lot more really really cool stuff So, I bet you didn't realize this, but Michiru Yamana, uh, Yamane is the uh, composer for the Castlevania series, including this one. And she also did the uh, soundtrack for Skullgirls. Speedrun? Maybe not today, though. You've seen me attempt to do a speedrun on this game. At least a couple times. Yay! We did it. I want to see my percentage on my file. 189.1%. Not bad. Not bad. Five and a half hours? I've done worse. Anyway. <sighs> Let's cut that. All right. So what I want to show you now, big dumb club dude, <laughs> beef beef clubstein, <laughs> the the Dark Souls big dumb club guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can open up a web browser here. And get this to um, do the thing I want. Because you have to hear this awful ending song from the original Symphony of the Night credits. It's honestly so bad. I am the wind with lyrics. Ooh. Okay, okay. Um, opening. Let's see. Oh, no, not that. That's, that's something else. <laughs> We're not gonna. 
not going to do that. <laughs> you all want me to do that, but I'm not doing it. Add um, window capture. Add source. I want, yes. And I'm going to minimize it so it's over here. Okay, are you ready for this? I hope you're ready. Oh, you need desktop audio. Hold on. All right, all right. If I get copyright struck for this, it's so worth it. I was rocking out too hard, I went out of frame. <laughs> Get your lighters out. That sax is bussin'. Oh, and the harmony. Here we go. I'm the wind and I'm the sun. One day, everybody, one day we'll all be one. Card Vlad Tepps on, on saxophone, everybody. I doubt I'll get copyright struck for this. Who would claim this? 
They removed it from their own game because it makes no sense for it to be there. everybody for stopping by it was a really fun stream um i will be back tomorrow and we'll be starting a new game um i'm gonna go ahead and surprise you with what that new game is going to be Ooh, hold on what what why am i holding Cynthia Harrell? Yeah? I know that. I'm not dumb. Anyway. Thanks everybody for stopping by. And I hope to see you again tomorrow when we start our new game. And um, you'll see, of course, the announcement, what it'll be. I'm, I've gave a hint yesterday, um, but there's a chance we're not going to start that new game until next week. So tomorrow just might be a cool one-off chill stream. Something interesting and different. Something, uh, something you're not expecting. But I love you all. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for following. And uh, make sure you check out the Vids and Vods channel on YouTube. And if you haven't followed me already on Twitch, please do so. Uh, love you all. Blessed be. Hail Satan. Good night.